Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today's a quick video. I just wanted to show off the shawl that I've made. This has been one of my UFO projects. I put it down a couple of years ago uh, when I was only about halfway through it and was kind of over knitting it up, but I finally have finished it. So it is quite um, long and wide for sure. So there's buttons down this side and halfway along the top. And then this half has built in holes on the top and then down that side. So here we go, that's the front of it. And then it goes into a long tail in the back. So it's designed to be worn quite a few different ways, but you can also just use it as a big scarf, hang it over your shoulders. It was a really long process to make this one because it needs number four knitting needles. Most of it is a knit line, then purl line, knit, then purl until you get to this chevron pattern. Again, it still just uses knit and purl as the stitches. I think in the whole thing, apart from when you're using, doing your buttonholes, which is your wind one, knit two together, it's pretty basic knitting. So the only thing is, is when you go from buttoning end to end, you actually find the buttonholes not as easy to find. A little bit of estimating going on on what is actually the buttonhole on the side. But I think as long as it's about where, where the button is, and it's the knitting has a sort of looser spot, you should be able to at least thread it through. Um, the pattern itself uses 28 buttons, so I was not willing to go out and buy 28 of the same buttons when I have a stockpile of random buttons. So I just basically found ones that are all about the same size, all in this whitey cream cream colour, and um, just put them on in a random pattern. And I think it really works. I, I think ideally you just want something that's that's there but not in your face. Well, there's a better way to do it because, you know, the idea of all of this is to use up my stuff not to go out and buy more stuff. Be honest, as I'm buttoning this, I am finding the holes better than I was when I was trying to find it last time. I, okay. All right, I've missed one somewhere. <laughs> or added one somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I've gone wrong there. Yeah. So I think I've missed one, but I've just scratched it in a little bit there at the end. I know that the sides a little bit better so you can make it into a nice big tube and then just wrap her around as well and have a nice little chunky knit tube too so yeah I'm really happy with it pretty glad that I finally finished it to be honest it took a long time and there were days I just didn't want to even pick it up I just looked and I went it's just not growing I'm over it I'm gonna say the last couple of months when I got back on to doing the pattern, I really got excited that we were near the end. So yeah, so that's my UFO finally done. It's probably one of the longest projects I've had because I don't normally get lose interest. I normally am pretty keen to get them done. But I will show you what the next project is. All right, so it's not really too much to tell you, but my next project, I am going to use this bulky knit Chanel to crochet up a blanket. I've not really done much crocheting before. So far all I've done is chain stitch the first row. 